Hi everyone, welcome back to part two of Mother's Day bonsai work. Um, it remains to be very quiet outside. Um, very, very strange times that we're living in. But our next tree on the list is this one, the Crown of Thorns, uh, your Thorvia. Um, <clears throat> It's been growing, I've had it for quite a while now. Um, it's been growing up there in the in the tent and uh, I just thought, okay, now's the time to, uh, to get it trimmed up and uh, repot it, check out the roots and uh, get it on its way to becoming a bonsai. Now this is a succulent type uh, <clears throat> tree and uh, I've got quite a few people that would like a cutting from it, so I'm quite lucky with that. So I think one of the first things I'm going to do is to set about taking out some of the uh, some of the branches. Now, when you cut into these, you do get um, a milky sap that's released. That's like a latex. Um, it, it is quite sticky, and it will stick to you and it can be quite poisonous if it's ingested so if you do anything with these just be careful with the uh, with the sap that's going to come your way so we've just taken off that branch i'm going to take off a series of the lower branches to uh, just to create a a trunk And then we can repot those. Uh, we'll let them dry out for one or two days and get them into some soil and uh, they should uh, put some roots down and carry on growing. Uh, there is some growth down below here for uh, for some even lower branches that's quite quite fresh and quite new so uh, we'll see what that looks like when we get this out of the pot. Uh, I will take these next two layers of branches off also. And this is pretty much going to leave us with a single trunk. So that has pretty much just left us with a, a single trunk going all the way through. If we look to get this out of the pot, being careful because the thorns are quite strong on these, they will stab you. And then if we just take our rake and just work away at the soil and see what we've got down below. Now this was potted in some nice, pretty decent soil, uh, plenty of perlite in here. So it has been growing quite well for us. So we've got plenty of roots at this level, but it might not be our chosen root level. Uh, I'll use that. Just keep breaking away in a circular motion. And there are lots and lots of roots. But they're at lots of different levels, so uh, it's going to be quite interesting to see how far down we go with these and 
where our root plane actually is. We may well be able to utilise these two lower branches and uh, possibly trunk chop the uh, the top branch uh, top top of the uh, trunk away, but we'll see. See how far down this uh, this is all heading. Looks like we're starting to get to the bottom now. Some nice roots, not too many. Uh, try and hold this without stabbing myself and without getting covered in the latex and without causing myself any problems. Some nice soil that, nice peaty soil with plenty of perlite in. Actually is really nice. So we'll get these roots washed away and then we'll have a look and see where our uh, where our roots are going to be. It looks nice. We'll be able to plant it and get a bit of a radial roots. We've got some roots that are coming straight down, but let's get it washed away and uh, we'll come back and see what we've got to work with. So we've got the roots pretty much cleaned out. There does seem to be still quite a bit of soil uh, in the in the uh, ball in the middle but I don't think we need to worry about that too much. What I will just do is get in there and just cut away the downward facing roots that are right at the very bottom any that we can't make go outwards we've got a couple that are just coming back on themselves there's one root there which comes out and goes around the underneath the rest of that I think we can uh, pretty much get as a nice radial rooting system uh, we will just trim them down, give them a little profile prune. Okay, that, that doesn't look too bad at all. So what we'll do is we'll um, we'll get the uh, we'll get the pot, we'll get cleaned up, and. Um, come back and see how it will sit inside the pot. So here we are with our So here we are with our crown of thorns. There's just a few few more downward facing roots that just need tidying back. One or two that go across the base. I think the rest of them we can pretty much tidy up. And the only other question for me is going to be do we need to uh, trim down some of these taller ones and I think yes we do because those that are coming straight straight out from the root system we're a little bit too close to the tops so we'll just get rid of those and then our planting level is going to be pretty much there but then that gives this these well there's three 
that are going to be coming up and out of it. We'll probably take them away over a period of time, but it might help with the thickening up of the branch and then the sweeping into the soil of the roots. So I think that could actually work quite well. And it almost stands up on its own. In fact, it does. So that's, that's looking quite good for us. We just put a layer of soil into the bottom of our pot and then have a quick look at how, how we're going to fit in and we do just need to do a little bit of pruning around the edges and it sits in quite nice there we'll add a bit more soil into that chopsticks and we'll just work the soil in that into the roots and there's one root here that's sticking up I'm just going to cut that away a couple more Scoops of soil and then we can top dress with the potting grit. there just to put on the tops Just grab the potting grit for the top dressing.
just make sure that sits nicely with the lip of the pot. And I did get a little bit of that latex on me. Slightly sticky. And that's all good. We'll give that the water through. And that should do it for our crown of thorns. I'm just did a dead leaf in there we can take out. And we'll see how these bottom uh, branches perform. And we may end up chopping it somewhere, you know, a little bit lower. Uh, but as a starting point, I think uh, I think that's okay. So we'll get that upstairs back into one of the tents on one of the shelves and let it grow and then after a couple of days we'll uh, we'll pop these on and see if we get anything from those and the people that wanted one will obviously now be able to have one. Right, on with the next one. Next we have the little jade tree that was planted uh, last year. Um, we need to get get it re possibly repotted. I think this level of moss or whatever that was placed on the top isn't the nicest, and um, <clears throat> we've had some strange growth from the uh, from the tree itself. So I think get it into some fresh soil and uh, give it a bit of a clean up. So we'll just do away with the table and uh, see if we can get it out of the pot. So it's come out of the pot okay. And just see if we can get rid of that surface what should have been moss and I think has pretty much rotted away to nothing and uh, we'll just rake out the roots that we've got which don't seem too bad to be fair But it has held quite a bit of moisture. Uh, we've pulled the dra drainage screen out. And we've got the base of what was our cut in there. And then the roots are growing out nice and radially from there. So yes, it has actually done quite a good job of putting some nice roots down. It's just a shame that we've had to interrupt them so early just by what was going on so we'll um, get this cleaned up and then we'll get the pot cleaned up and, and then we'll get the pot cleaned up and sort it out <clears throat> you see how where we cut the branches last time we've had the growth out of the top and it all, all is very tight in there and uh, seems to have been some restricted growth for some of that and then out of the tops we've got some very strange uh, calloused 
uh, growth where it sort of looked like it started to grow and then didn't. Um, it may be that it was affected by some of those critters that we had in the tents. Um, I don't know any reason as to why that would happen. Uh, but there are a number of misshaped leaves, a bit of uh, all sorts of weird things going on. But uh, we'll, we'll clean the roots up and uh, get it potted back into the same pot because I think that pot actually suits this. But yeah, we've got a nice start to a, a root system off of, off of this. So we're back with our pot all nice and clean. We'll just put a one of those pre-made screens into the bottom and uh, just shake a, a layer of soil in and <coughs> then if we get our little tree uh, that be in the front that you can see there and just work that back in to the pot we might have to top up our soil and we'll just shake some soil into there, take our chopstick and work that in. I'll just see if I can fill this in from this side. the soil And I'll just have to replenish the uh, soil stocks. So that's the last of our already mixed soil. So um, we better, better mix up another batch as soon as we can. So we've got enough to do maybe one or two more trees before we need to stop for lack of soil. So we'll just take some scoops of the soil and get them laid in. grit for the top. I'm not sure what quite happened to the moss that we had laid onto here but it all just seemed to rot and mush away. It must have just been that it was getting too much water dripping on it from the shelves in the tent from above. So that looks that looks okay. We've got some leaves that need to be able to carry on growing and redefining themselves. We've got growth coming through and we just need to leave that and hope that it comes back through nicely so we'll just give it a bit of a water just to water that dry soil through and there we 
go. So we'll let that uh, settle and we'll put it back up into the uh, into the tent upstairs and uh, move on to the next one.